Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples, for the Lord is great and highly to be praised. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Having celebrated St. Paul's conversion yesterday, we today remember Saints Timothy and Titus, two men who, uh, to whom Paul wrote uh, letters that are in the New Testament, uh, both bishops, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about their ministry in the homily. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who adorned Saints Timothy and Titus with apostolic virtues, grant through the intercession of them both that living justly and devoutly in this present age, we may merit to reach our heavenly homeland through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Paul, a slave of God, an apostle of Jesus Christ, for the sake of the faith of God's chosen ones and the recognition of religious truth and the hope of eternal life that God, who does not lie, promised before time began, who indeed at the proper time revealed his word and the proclamation with which I was entrusted by the command of God our Savior to Titus, my true child in our common faith. Grace and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Savior. For this reason, I left you in Crete so that you might set right what remains to be done and appoint presbyters in every town as I directed you. The word of the Lord. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory do his name. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity.
The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord Jesus appointed 72 other disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house, and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his pay. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you, cure the sick in it, and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. The Gospel of the Lord. I enjoy this feast day so much because it's a biblical example of the structure of the church coming to life. Once you know what to look for, you you start noticing it in different places in the New Testament. Acts of the Apostles and the, the, the pastoral letters. So Jesus ordained the twelve apostles and gave them the authority to turn bread and wine into his body and blood and to forgive people's sins. And then he sends them out. And then in Acts, they ordain people. We see specifically in, uh, in Acts of the Apostles them ordaining St. Paul and, uh, and Barnabas. They lay hands on them and they send them out. There's an ordination and a commissioning. And today you just heard Paul saying to Titus, uh, well, you, does the option to read from Timothy or Titus? Two letters he wrote to Timothy. The Timothy letter we all know, it said, Do not be ashamed of, uh, uh, that's not it, where's the, stir into flame the gift of God you have through the imposition of my hands. So laying on of hands. So the apostles ordained Paul, Paul ordains Timothy, he also ordains Titus, and then he tells Titus, who is now, he tells him to go to the island of Crete. For this reason I left you in Crete so that you might appoint presbyters in every town as I directed you. So what we have here is even the structures of dioceses taking place. Timothy goes off to Ephesus. Titus is sent to the island of Crete. He becomes the bishop of the diocese of Crete, starts ordaining priests there. This is us, friends. I mean, this is the Catholic Church right there. You see it in the Bible. This isn't some guy in Rome decided we would do it. It's already happening in the Bible, in the New Testament. Um, Founded on the rock of Peter, the first pope, uh, the apostles going out everywhere. You have another spur of this that we know about through the saints' writings of St. John ordaining uh, uh, priests, and and through his line comes St. Irenaeus. So uh, this is how we got here. Here in Buffalo, the Diocese of Buffalo in America, under Bishop Michael Fisher, who ordained Father Joe Tokaz right in this church, who ordained Father Jeffrey Donovan last summer. Um, I just, uh, I love seeing it biblically here. We are exactly the church that God intended. Not only intended, he himself founded. Came to earth, he founded a church on the rock of Peter, promised the gates of hell would not prevail against us. We should believe that. Let us stand and pray. Let us pray for the clergy, the bishops, the successor of the apostles, and all of the priests and deacons ordained by them. For wisdom, strength, and grace, we pray to the Lord. We pray for this family of parishes, part of the worldwide structure which Christ himself has founded, that we may shine the light of Christ into the darkness of our culture. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for peace and reconciliation 
in all areas of conflict in our world. We continue to pray for an end to the war in Ukraine, for all of the fighting in the Holy Land in the Middle East, for the, the tensions that exist in so many other places of our world. We pray to the Lord. For the continued safety of all those traveling in our region and all those whose property is endangered by storms and, and flooding, we pray to the Lord. For those who have died, marked with the sign of faith, we pray for the many who have been buried from our family of parishes in this first month of the year. Most especially today, we remember Nancy Whiteley, for whom this Holy Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Almighty God, giver of all life, we praise you for your goodness and ask you to answer these prayers, which we offer through Christ our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, which we bring in celebration of Saints Timothy and Titus, and in your kindness render us fully acceptable by giving us sincerity of heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints and in crowning their merits you crown your own gifts. By their way of life you offer us example. By communion with them you give us companionship. By their intercession sure support so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so, with the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, I who heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Michael our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace to the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
the communion antiphon. Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel. I am with you always, says the Lord. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, nourish in us that faith taught by the preaching of the apostles, kept safe by the labors of Saints Timothy and Titus, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. In every age, O God, you have called us to be your people, to be your church. In this time, we begin anew to discern the pathways that will lead us, your people, closer to you. Continually bless our journey as we proclaim your good news, celebrate your saving presence among us, serve others with charity and justice, and steward the world you have entrusted to our care. Send your spirit to lead and guide our Emmaus journey as we commit ourselves to the renewal of our church. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 